approximate address. You'll have to give a street address. And uh, you will have, like I said, two and a half minutes. Uh, the green light will go on when it's your turn to speak. Uh, and then a yellow light will go on when there's 30 seconds remaining. A red light will go on at, at the end then. And then you can finish your sentence, but not just keep talking on and on. So uh, go ahead, sir. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Nick Cullen. Um, over beside me is my uh, good friend and partner, Rome. Um, we come before you today because we are about to embark on something that is going to more than likely make history. And I would love for the city of Fort Collins to be the headquarters of where that all happened. So I come before you today in a very cool skater outfit, right? You probably already are forming your impressions on me. However, however, what you don't know is that before I came here a few months prior, I was known as the top 27 CEOs under 27. I was also known as someone who was very successful, never went to college and was able to do very successful things at a very six, you know, young age. I was a complete outlier. However, what people didn't know is that my life was complete torture. I was living in a relationship from the age of 17 when I met the love of my life, but I was being physically abused by her. Emotionally, physically, I have over 40 plus scars on my body to prove it. But the, due to the problem of masculinity and social norms, it creates an environment for men where we have nothing to really turn to. I'm a six foot three guy. Who's gonna believe a five foot tiny, beautiful Bambi looking girl that she's the thing that's making my life a living hell? It drove me to the point of suicide in April. Also the fact that I was suffering from bipolar disorder and I didn't know about it and the fact that I couldn't get help about it because this person was suffering from OCD. However, the fact that she was living in denial because she didn't want to be labeled with someone with mental health problems with how society has made mental health a unfair and unsafe environment for people to discuss, especially for men. So I've been suffering from PTSD ever since April after I not tried to kill myself. And I try, I turned to other things other than substance abuse, which 90% of men, which I found in my studies, go towards. I only got 30 seconds left, but the long story short is me and him are longboarding from here to Santa Cruz, September 1st. And I'm trying to get the entire city of Fort Collins to do our first leg from here to Denver to demonstrate that a small town can change the world and that we could do something that can make new change in mental health, change societal norms, and hopefully have a place where people aren't killing each other or hurting themselves or hurting the next person to get in a relationship with because they were just suffering from PTSD. Thank you, Mr. Cummings. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. And if actually...